Hey there guys and gals, Anime Dude here. I'm not used to being on camera. I'm not used to this whole freestyling whenever I'm talking and just rolling with it. I'm not used to that at all. But it is almost 2020 and I figured I would try something a little bit new. You know, new year, new me. I actually have a little bit of a decent setup now. And yeah, my I uploaded like 18 videos over the past year and I know that is not gonna cut it. So I have a lot of things I wanna talk about and I have a lot of things that I wanna say, but I don't have a lot of time. So for less important topics like the one I plan on covering today, I figure why not just sit here and talk for about 30 minutes to an hour, just rant to myself and I'm, I'm literally just freeforming this right now. No script, no nothing. I'm just going to give you my thoughts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up cutting that down to about a minute or two that you'll actually see. But yeah, I still have quite a few uh, character analysis videos planned. I plan on bringing that back. Those just take a little while. And I still love doing the why you should watch videos. You know, getting some of my favorite series out there and letting people know what's so appealing about them so that they can get the attention that they deserve. You know, I, I really do enjoy both of those series, but they can take a little while to make. And as of right now, I, I, I mean, I work a full-time job. This is just a hobby. So if I'm going to make more videos and actually get to talk about some of the things I want to talk about, get my opinions out there, then this might be the solution to it. I don't know. You tell me. You guys might not like seeing my ugly mug. If that's the case, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll stop doing this. <sighs> this whole on-camera thing is going to take some getting used to. Okay, and so today, what I wanted to talk about was a Shonen Jump manga. Originally, I had planned on trying to catch up with every single manga that's currently running in Shonen Jump and then ranking them all at the new year. I haven't finished them all. There's so much manga. There's too much manga. It's impossible to read all the Shonen Jump manga. So instead of that, going to the new year, you know, new year, new me, I figured I would get on camera and just talk about some of the series that aren't going to be there in the future. Some of the series that just got axed recently. But yeah, back in April, we had a few different series start out in Shonen Jump all at the same time. We had uh, Beast Children, we had Tokyo Shinobi Squad, and we had Double Taisei. And, uh, I believe Samurai 8 by Kishimoto also started around that time. But today I want to go ahead and talk about Double Taisei. It, Beast Children, and uh, Tokyo Shinobi Squad are all getting the axe right here at the new year. So, uh, you know, yeah, I figured I'd dedicate a video to Double Taisei, give you my thoughts on it, just in case you... People don't even read Double Taisei, so I don't know why they'd watch a video about it. Alright, so Double Taisei is about Shogi, right? I like board games, board games are fun. And there's this kid that's really good at Shogi. But wait, there's more. So this kid that's good at Shogi, he has a split personality. So we got Tai, you know, he's a very withdrawn kid, kind of keeps to himself, uh, really loves Shogi, tries to get better at it. And then we have his personality that comes out at night, to where the body itself never really sleeps. We got these twin personalities that they basically take turns and they alternate. Say is the one that comes out at night. Say is a little bit more rebellious. You know, he doesn't really know what he wants out of life yet, but he uh, he's really good at playing Shogi just because he'll sit there and play one turn at a time playing against Tai, and they've played many a games over the years. They've kind of gotten used to the whole split personality thing. But yeah, the series really kickstarts off whenever there's an accident, and uh, due to that accident, Tai is now the one that comes out at night, and Sei is the one that ends up having to come out during the day. And because Sei is not used to coming out during the day, he kind of has to get used to school and all that stuff. But more importantly, this all happens right along the time where the pro exam is starting for Shogi. And, you know, the pro exam is something that Tai was invested in, but because Sei you know, say cares, he's, he's his body, his alternate personality. Um, until it's, it's the whole situation is resolved, he really wants Ty to not have to lose just by forfeit. Like, he goes and plays in his place, and but his play style is so different than Ty's, it's not even funny. So, and that's what's so great about Ty and Say is their personalities are so different, their play styles are so different, it's all kind of shown through their play style. But a majority of the series, is actually just say going through the pro exam and getting to know a lot of the people that Ty had already previously kind of sort of met like Ty had had an influence on them just because he was the prodigy that their generation was named after he was the kid that kind of kept to himself that didn't really acknowledge them but they all saw him as a rival they all wanted to beat him 
and then comes along Say, who treats them all completely differently, acknowledges them a little bit, and they have to kind of deal with the whole swapping it in and out with the personalities type of thing. But yeah, uh, it's a very interesting concept. But yeah, through this series, we essentially follow Say as he gets to find his own passion for Shogi and, you know, kind of unleash that talent that only Tai has ever known about because he's only ever played Tai up till this point. Little known fact, I'm a big fan of Hikaru no Go, and uh, while Double Tai Say kind of reminded me of that a little bit, and, you know, I, I, at, towards the first couple chapters, it piqued my interest, and I thought it might have that kind of potential. It ended up being nowhere near that same caliber, and we basically got one really good arc of just going through the pro exam, the level of pro exam in the Hikaru no Go manga. That's, that's a completely different beast. But, you know, we get through that one arc, it's... It was enjoyable. We got to meet all the characters that, uh that Tai and Sei saw as rivals and got to know them better, have an influence on them. And then some of them become pros, some of them don't. Then the series gets axed, and then a uh, spoiler alert, I'll go ahead and leave a little timestamp on screen right here to where you can kind of see where you need to skip to if you want to avoid the spoiler. But I'm going to talk about what we see in the last chapter because I thought it was a pretty interesting way to end the series. But uh, it kind of sucks that they just kind of had to skip to that just because, you know, the series got axed. You know, it's a shame. But basically, in this final chapter, but we see that Taisei had uh, seven of the eight major shogi titles. So, very successful professional. Still very young, from the looks of it. So, they definitely didn't uh, underplay the whole genius thing. Like, he definitely took off, and or they definitely took off, and uh, basically took over the shogi world. Then it basically shows that they had to renounce those titles, that they couldn't defend them. So then we see them, like, behind bars with somebody visiting, and they're not allowed, really, to say anything to them. So it kind of makes you think like, oh my god, what happened to Tai and Say? Like, what, what's going on here? But it turns out, uh, they're playing for the Meiji title. And so yeah, the series ends with them going with a two month match, one turn per day, because they can only split personalities for the day and night. So, you know, during the day, Say will play a turn, and then at night, Tai will now play a turn. And that's how the series ends with them playing for the Meiji title, which is basically the title for the best player in the, in the country. So yeah. I don't know, it was a very interesting ending. It shows where they were wanting to go with the series where the two best players in the world are sharing the same body. But yeah, it seemed like a very interesting concept. I don't think Fukuda Sensei got to flesh it out as much as he wanted to. Like I said, it wasn't one of the best manga in Shonen Jump, but it wasn't one of the worst. So I'm actually very interested to see what uh, Kentaro Fukuda can bring us in the future because yeah, this was this was a fun little series. No, I genuinely enjoyed the time I spent reading it. Yeah, I mean, the execution of this series wasn't top tier by any means, but it had some interesting ideas and concepts, and though the execution on that was very wonky and just silly at times, I would have loved to see it play out a little bit more, so it, it's kind of a shame. I hate to see any uh, good series get axed, and, you know, if they're in Shonen Jump, usually it's at least a decent series, even if it's not uh, the best compared to other top tier shows like a My Hero Academia or One Piece or whatever. But yeah, just let me know what you thought of this video. I know it's a little bit different. Uh, you probably don't want to see my ugly mug, but uh, you know, there's, like I said, there's a lot of things I want to talk about and there's a lot of things I want to discuss. And it can be hard to find the time to do that as much as I would like. But uh, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this and help support the channel, then make sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments. Also support me on social media such as Twitter and Instagram and do I have any other social media? Twitch. There we go. Can't forget Twitch. Flex while I'm like this. This is just show off how scrawny I am. Um, oh Lord Brigo would be ashamed. And you know, if you guys do like videos like this, then I'll definitely be able to pump those out a lot quicker and more frequently than I would be able to other content. And you know, if that's what helps uh, helps the channel to grow, then maybe someday I can do this full time. And once I do, I can focus a little bit more on those videos that are more time consuming, like the uh, why you should watch videos or the character analysis or whatever it is that you guys would like to see and whatever I want to talk about at the time. Just because, like I said, there's so much I want to talk about and just not enough time to do it all. So, uh, hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great New Year's and uh, Anime Dude out.